Hi guys, welcome to another video with a tutorial for you. So, I'm going to do, to do a remake on um, how to personalize your computer like I do. So, basically, it would start like mine, just like different, like really ugly kind. So, I did a remake because I chipmunked last time and I guess some people couldn't understand. So, I'm not going to chipmunk and I'm trying to make sure this is as clear as possible. So, if you start like this way, you're gonna need these things, okay? You will need rock and duck, good wallpaper, rain meter, or X widget. One of them is fine, don't worry. But these two are necessary for me. The rest are optional. Fences, like I'll explain to you later. X launch pad, ORB changer, good cursor, an icon packager. I think I forgot to put some stuff, but oh, this might be long, so yeah. So first, you might get annoyed with the icons you get so you can download fences because it will make yours like this and it's really organized I'm pretty sure you will like it so or if you don't want to download fences there's also a way but if you also want to keep some there so just do like this make the icons nice so make it classic icons and then you make it yeah, just make it classic icons because small icons are like cuter and take up less space. Or if you want everything to be gone, just go to right click, okay, right click, and view, and then show desktop icons, like untick. So your desktop is clean, but if you don't want it that way, you can just make a folder, any folder. So. You can just make any folder. Let's just say I'm going to make a folder here. Right click and then new. And then folder and then I'll just type anything. And then I would put everything on the desktop here. But if you don't, it's okay. So it's pretty much your choice. So I use fences and I don't show my desktop icons. So yeah, that's finished. That part is done. So the next step is your taskbar. Okay, that I know. So just right click in properties and then unlock ta I mean lock taskbar. Use small icons and then you're done. Don't worry, small icons are better. So how you make it in the middle, I'll tell you later. But it's not really necessary. I'll tell you later if I remember. Next is Rocket Dock. Rocket Dock is a kind of dock that makes it like your Mac, but I don't use it like Mac, I just use it like it's some kind of taskbar, so you can download Rockadoc. I'll leave the link in the description below. Now let's run Rockadoc, and then I'll show you how it looks like. Mine is like this. For more uh, explanation on Rockadoc, I will leave my tutorial in the description below. So, yeah, Rockadoc's a doc. You can make it big, you can make it small, but I keep mine small, and I keep it like on that side and I have an icons so if you don't have icons you can download from my previous packs in my channel I did like packs and stuff so you can check that out and download the icons next step is a good wallpaper because that actually makes everything you can personalize your computer without the rocket dock and stuff but I think the wallpaper is the main thing I have lots of wallpapers and um, if you don't have wallpapers like really cute ones you can download from my packs. I always make packs with wallpapers usually so you can check that out too. So let me just pick a wallpaper that will you know look nice. So when you pick the wallpaper just right click and press set as desk desktop background but whoa why is mine like this? So just right click and press personalize. And then press the stop background and then choose the position I think I'm going to make it fill let's see Whoa. nope that is not what I want but actually that wallpaper is kind of cute so let's just say fit and see if it fits like I think I'm going to pick this wallpaper like converse I love converse so I'm just going to make it fit or just pick any picture position that you like and when you're done with that, it's actually custom. Your laptop is already pretty much customized, like seriously, <laughs> it's really easy. 
So next is Rainier or X widget because they make really cute clocks. Okay. So I can't show you X widget, but it's really easy. All you have to do is double click the skin, and then it's gonna pick. Um, it's gonna show you can download skins and everything like that. Wallpapers. You can go to DeviantArt.com. So it's a really good website, and seriously, it's. Easy. So I'm gonna run my rain meter. If you need more rain meter tips and stuff like that, it's going to be in the description below. So I did a tutorial on it. So I also made a rain meter skins pack. I'll leave everything in the description, everything you need. So I don't think I need a rain meter skin for this. So if you don't need it, just unload skin. So I'm just gonna make my desktop like this. Okay, I'm not gonna put any clocks. Um because I don't think this wallpaper needs any yet. So after you pick the skin, X Rated Marine Meter, go to Fences. I already told you what it's about. I will leave all the applications that you can download uh, in the description below. So yeah. Next is X Launchpad. It's optional and I'm gonna show you what it does. So it does like this. It's like Mac, because Mac has this option. So it's really easy, you just can put any icons, just press add, and then pick it, like, the shutdown button, and then there it is. But I don't know why you can't see the icons, and then you can make a new slide, you can customize it, it's like Mac stuff. And the ORB changer, I, I'm going to leave my tutorial in the description below, so this is, this is an orb, or an ORB, I call it an ORB, I don't know why. Let's just say orb. Okay, so that's an orb. It's the start button. So you can change it into anything you would like. So, yeah, it, um, I'm going to leave that tutorial in the description below. So a good cursor is like, come on, you don't want a plain cursor. So let's find one on DeviantArt. Find a good cursor. You can find everything you need in DeviantArt. Skins, wallpapers, everything is right here. So let's just say, um, cursor, um, let me just type art cursor because I don't know what type of cursor I would like. But if you don't want it that way, you can download the packs I made. Though, see, there are a lot of heart cursors. So, um, just pick which one you like and then press it. And then you scroll down and press download a file. So that's the easy way and everything like that. So, um, then you go to control panel and use the cursor. Make sure you extract it and everything. So I just type your mouse and then press it. Pointers. I already have a lot. So if you don't know how to use how to use a cursor, I will leave um, the small and helpful tutorials video in the description below. Okay. So just press OK. And mine is a Mac cursor. You can type it in. And even art map cursor and everything. So icon packager is next. If you don't know what's icon packager, it's the one that makes your icon really cute. It does all the work for you. All you need, all you need is an icon packager skin and you're done. So I'm gonna leave that tutorial in the description below. So just check out the description because I'm pretty sure it's gonna have what you need. If it doesn't just tell me. A Google Chrome theme is if you, have, if you use Google Chrome and then I'm pretty sure you want it customized. So let's download a Google Chrome theme. I just made a video on favorite Google Chrome themes pack. So you can just check that out and you're done. So next is going to be a theme. I did a tutorial on how to change the theme too. So just check the description. I think it's about a million times already. So the windows color, you can do it whatever you want. But I always make it transparent because it matches with everything. So pretty much you can see my computer is personalized already so it pretty much has what you want so the next is the highlight color everything like that because you don't want the same old blue come on let's be more spirited here so we go to windows color and then we go to advanced appearance settings and first we can change the font but I like the original font but if you want to change the font it's just going to everywhere and then press the choose the font you like and then scroll down Ooh, there's nothing and then I'll change it change the font to what you want so it's really easy so selected items is when you choose stuff 
like type stuff and then selected items that's the blue color but I want it pink because my wallpaper is pink so let's make it matching so let's just press other okay sorry for that annoying noise I don't know what that is so let's just press this color and then make it lower but if you don't want it that light color or you won't see the font so after I just press OK and then we'll go to hyperlink and then we choose the color too so I'm gonna make it pink because my wallpaper is pink so I'm gonna make it like really light and pinkish and then I press OK and then wait and then you'll see the difference see it's pink when you highlight it and when you go here it's pink it's adorable but my Google Chrome theme is in pink you can change it too so it doesn't matter so that's pretty much what you need to personalize your computer like come on restart it from scratch and then our laptop is like this already give me a hot bag tip so please make sure you don't use too many skins or your computer is going to be really full and it's not going to look nice so make sure you don't use too many skins and just one skin is enough like a clock like I learned that that's all you need so I hope this is helpful and better than the previous video because I know it was pretty fast and maybe some of you guys can't understand but I hope this is more clear and this is a remake so yeah so please like comment and subscribe for more videos with editorials for you that's me <laughs> So I'll see you guys next time and I hope this video was helpful. Bye!